Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss about properties, merits, and demerits of median. Properties of median. There are two main important properties of median. First, the sum of deviations of items from median, ignoring signs, is the minimum. For example, the median of 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 is 8. Now deviations from 8, ignoring signs are 4, 2, 0, 2 and 4. The total of these deviation is 12. The total is smaller than the one obtained if deviations are taken from any other value. If deviations are taken from 7, the deviations ignoring sign would be 3, 1, 1, 3 and 5 and the total is 13. This property implies that median is centrally located. Next property is median is a positional average and hence it is not influenced by the extreme values. Next we come to mean versus median and the first point regarding it ease in calculations. Median is easier to calculate as compared to mean. Second point fluctuations in sample. The general fluctuations of sampling affect the median to a greater extent than the mean. However, at times mean might be affected to a greater extent by such fluctuations than the median. Third point, algebraic treatment. Mean is definitely superior to median in terms of further algebraic treatment. It is possible to find out the combined mean but not the combined median. Next, open end classes. Mean cannot be determined in case of open end distribution, whereas median can be easily calculated. Fifth point, effect of extreme values. Median may be more representative than the arithmetic average due to the fact that it is not affected by the values of extreme items. And the last point is graphic presentation. The value of median can be determined graphically, whereas the value of mean cannot be graphically ascertained. These are some of the points why median is more compatible than mean. Next, we will discuss merits of median. Some of the merits are as follows. First is simplicity. Median is easy to calculate and simple to understand. In many situations, the median can be located simply by inspection. Second point, idle average. Median is defined rigidly. That is, median has definite and certain value. Next point, graphic presentation. The value of median can also be determined graphically with the help of OGIF curves. Fourth point, unaffected by extreme values. The extreme values in the data set do not affect the calculation of the median value. For example, median of 10, 20, 30, 40 and 150 would be 30, whereas the mean will be 50. Median in such cases is a better average. Fifth point, possible even in case of incomplete data. Median can be calculated even when the data is incomplete. For example, in case of irregular class interval or open end distribution, median can be easily calculated. And the last point, Appropriate for qualitative data. Median can be used to deal with qualitative characteristic which cannot be measured quantitatively. For example, it is not possible to measure intelligence quantitatively. However, 
it is possible to locate an individual having average intelligence by adding a group of persons in ascending or descending order of intelligence these are some of the merits of median next we come to demerits of median let us now discuss some of the demerits of median which are as follows first not based on all observations median being a positional average is not based on each and every item of the distribution for example the median of 10 25 50 60 60 65 is 50 if we replace the observation 10 and 25 by any two values smaller than 50 and replace 60 and 65 with two values greater than 50 the value of the median will remain same second point affected by fluctuations in sampling it is affected by the fluctuations of sampling thus if class intervals are not uniform the value of median becomes inappropriate third point lack of further algebraic treatment the median is not capable of algebraic treatment for example median cannot be used for determining combined median of two or more groups as is possible in case of mean fourth point arrangement required since median is an average of position therefore arranging the data in ascending or descending order of magnitude is time consuming in case of large number of observations and the last point unrealistic assumption in case of grouped distribution the formula for the computation of median in case of grouped frequency distribution is based on the assumption that the observations in the median class are uniformly distributed this assumption is rarely met in practice these are some of the demerits of median and the last we come to applications of median the median is helpful in understanding the characteristic of a data set when first observations are qualitative in nature as we have discussed in the merits about the intelligence that it is not possible to measure intelligence quantitatively however it is possible to locate an individual having average intelligence by adding a group of person in ascending or descending order of intelligence next point extreme values are present in the data set we have discussed this earlier also that when the extreme values are present median is effective in calculating the value for example median of 10 20 30 40 and 150 would be 30 whereas the mean will be 50 so median in such cases is a better average and the last point is a quick estimate of an average is desired as we know that median is easy to calculate and simple to understand in many situations the median can be located simply by inspection so in these cases median is helpful in understanding the characteristics of data set thank you for watching edupedia world videos